formula for divine abundance. Formula for divine abundance. Uh, it's a series we started several weeks ago. And uh, we said number one formula is that you must allow God to become your shepherd. Number two, you must become a seeker of God. That is where we are now. You must become a seeker of God. You must become a seeker of God. You must become a seeker of God. If you want to enjoy abundance in life, brothers and sisters, we must become diligent seekers of God. Diligent seekers of God. Hebrews 11 verse 6. It is impossible to please God without faith. By faith. Mm -hmm. Verse 6 please. For without faith... It is, but without faith, it is impossible to please God. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is. He is God. Whoever comes to church this morning must believe that their God is God. Say, this God is my God. Say again, this God is my God. Say the God of Abraham. The God of Jacob. The God of Isaac. He is my God. Say again. He is my God. Say the God of Elijah. That is my God. Say the God of Paul. That is my God. You must believe that he is. He is God. He is God. And that he is a rewarder. Our God is a rewarder. Our God is not a swindler. Our God is not a con man. Our God is not a liar. Let every man be a liar. But not God. Let every man be a liar. And God to remain true. God is not a liar. Our God is a rewarder. Have you been seeking God? God is a rewarder. Have you been praying? Our God and your God is a rewarder. I say my God and your God is a rewarder. He's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. If you have been seeking God diligently, may he come to reward you. May the Lord come to reward you. I say may the Lord come to reward you. May the Lord remember you today. I say may the Lord remember you today. Lift up your hand and say, my father, my God, please remember me today. Please remember my case today. Hallelujah. If you go to your MP and they can solve your problems, that is only a man. Sometimes they can solve, sometimes they promise, and sometimes they don't keep the promises. One of them came here and promised us things, but they were not able to fulfill. Because sometimes man can be willing, but they may not be able. Our God is a God who is able. I say our God is a God who is able. He is not only willing, he is also able. Your mother could be willing to help you, to take you to school, but they could be, they could be challenged. She could be un unable, but this God, I said this my God, he is not only willing, he is also able. Everything on earth belongs to him. The earth belongs to the Lord and everything thereof. He owns a cattle on a thousand hills. Oh my God is able. Look at a neighbor and tell them God is able. Tell them God is able. Tell them God is a rewarder. 
And today I declare this morning that God is about to reward you. God is about to reward your labor. God is about to, to reward your, your, your diligent search of him. He's about to reward you today. Somebody shout hallelujah. Can I hear believing hallelujah? Can I hear believing hallelujah? Psalms 34 verse 10. This is what the Bible says. Psalms 34 verse 10. Those who seek God should never suffer. It is wrong to pray for three hours every day and continue suffering. It is wrong. Don't allow that. Don't allow the devil to do that to you. Do not allow the devil to do that to you. Do not allow the devil to steal your, your blessing. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger. But they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. You will not want from today. You will not lack from today. David said, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. From today, there will be no wants in your life. I said there will be no wants in your life. If you love God, if you seek God, it is illegal to suffer. I say it is illegal for a child of God to suffer. Somebody can uh, do something here. It is illegal for someone who loves God to suffer. Lift up your hand and say, I refuse to suffer. Say again, I refuse to suffer. Say again, I refuse to suffer. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. If you are a child of God, you are exempted from suffering. You are exempted from suffering. Are you hearing what I'm saying? If you are a child of God, you are exempted from suffering. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not they shall not want any good thing. Are you here to see God? If you are here to see God, I decree today in the name of Jesus, lack is an, is an, an illegality in your life. I say lack is illegal in your life. I say from today, lack is illegal. It is an illegality in your life. Somebody shout, I refuse to suffer. What you hate will not come to you. What you hate will disappear, will run away from you. Somebody say, I refuse suffering. Say, I hate suffering. Say, I resent poverty. What you resent will see you and run away. If you hate somebody, whenever they see you, they don't want to meet with you. They don't want to relate with you because they know you hate them. Now if you hate the devil of poverty, that devil of poverty, whenever they see you, they will be taking corner. I say they will be taking a corner. Whenever they see you coming, uh, they will be changing route. Uh. Let the spirit of poverty begin to change route. Uh. In the name of Jesus, uh, I say the spirit of poverty in your family, I command it now to change route. Uh. I command poverty in your life uh, to change route. Uh. In the name of Jesus. Shout hallelujah. Say I'm not poor. Say I refuse to be poor. I refuse poverty. Say I resent poverty. Hallelujah. That's why we cannot hate rich people. We better pray for them. When a rich person uh, offends you, don't take them to police. Take them to the throne. Take them to heaven. <laughs> Don't hate them. Don't resent them. Don't resent them. Just pray for them. Hallelujah. Because what you hate, you will never get. What you resent, you will never get. If you start criticizing them, you start saying, you see the way they are building, it is because they are thieves. You will never build. Because you believe those who build are thieves. And because you will not go to steal, you will never be a thief. How will you ever build? Ah, somebody say I'm changing my mentality say again I'm changing my mentality 
Number three, you know, so become a seeker of God. Wakikukosea wewe enda ujifungie, piga magoti, omba mungu, wacha mungu akuitani, akutete, hallelujah, na akupiganie. Number three, you must walk in obedience towards God. Walk in obedience toward God. Peter defeated stagnation and struggling in his business and was able to unlock abundance when he obeyed Jesus. That is Luke chapter 5 from verse 4 to 7. From verse 4 to 7, Jesus, you know the story. Jesus, has, uh, I mean Peter had been struggling. He has been struggling the whole night, toiling the whole night. They are working hard. So, and they are not getting anything. Hard work minus God is futility. Let me say that again. Hard work minus the hand of God is futility. Working hard without involving the help of God, the hand of God, you will work in vain. You will suffer for nothing. You will suffer without gain. You will have pain minus gain. If you don't involve God in your labor, you will labor and suffer and suffer pain minus gain. There will be no pain for you from today. Now that you are here and you are hearing God, I decree in the name of Jesus, there will be no more pain for you. When you work, God will reward your labor. Because our God is not unrighteous. Hebrews 6.10 Our God is not unrighteous to forget our labor in vain. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 13 and verse, that, verse 12 and 13 he says that he will bless the work of our hands he will bless the work of our hands and we shall not borrow we shall become lenders to many nations hallelujah he said that our labor in Christ is not in vain our labor in Christ is not in vain God will bless the work of your hands I say God will bless the work of your hands. Some of you, you have worked the whole year and you have not registered any income. From today in the name of Jesus, where you are, where your income has been uh, has been locked by the devil. I say where the devil has taken your blessing. Today in the name of Jesus, I command him to release. I command him to release. Whoever has taken your blessing, I command them to release in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, according to Job 20 verse 15, they that have swallowed your riches, they will vomit. I said they will vomit. They that have swallowed your, your riches, let them begin to vomit. I said let them begin to vomit. Let the devil vomit your opportunities. Let the devil vomit what he has taken. Let the devil vomit what he has taken from you. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Say, I refuse to suffer. Say again, I refuse to suffer. Obedience is the only way to give God the right to intervene in your case. When Peter listened to God, when Peter obeyed Jesus, that is when his toiling ended. Luke chapter 5 from verse 4 to 7. Luke chapter 5 from verse 4 to 7. You can see that story there. You can write it down somewhere because we may not be able to, to read the whole of it. Or maybe we can try. He says, now when he had left speaking, that is Jesus, he said unto Peter, Simon, launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a catch. And then verse 5 says, and Simon answering said unto him, master, you don't know. We have toyed all the night and have taken nothing. The whole year we've been working. The whole of 2020. We 
have been working and we have not been getting anything. Oh, nevertheless, 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 mtu waseme hata hivyo. Sema tena hata hivyo. Sema tena hata hivyo. Because you have said it, then I will believe you. Because you have said it, I will obey you and I will go ahead and do that business. I will go ahead and open that business. I will go ahead and open that branch. I will go ahead and and start that business because you have said uh, not because the economy is good uh, not because the dollar has come down uh, not because there are opportunities uh, but because Jesus uh, you have put it in my heart to do this business I will do it you have put it in my in my hand to write this song. I will write it. I will go to the studio. I will write this book. I don't know who will come to buy, but I will do it. I don't know who will come to my business, but I will do it. I don't know who will come to the church. Oh, but I will obey you. I will do it. I will do it. Praise the Lord. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. And then what happened? Verse 6 says, and when they had done this, when they obeyed, they enclosed a great multitude of fish. May you enclose big checks in your account. In the name of Jesus, let there be big, big checks coming your way. I say, let there be big, big checks coming your way. In the name of Jesus, I move you from the level of hundred to the level of thousands I move you from the level of thousands to the level of tens of thousands I move you from the level of tens of thousands or oh, to the level of hundreds of thousands or oh, to the level of millions receive the grace receive by faith I say receive by faith it shall be so in Jesus name can I hear believing amen some of you will be operating with millions, hundreds of millions, con- contracts of hundreds of millions. May that become your portion. We serve a living God. The earth belongs to him. According to Psalms 24 verse 1, the, the earth belongs to God and everything they are of. May the Lord give you a portion of his other. May the Lord give you a portion of what belongs to him because you are his child. You are the child of God. Mali ya baba yangu ni yangu. Automatically, I don't have to pray. I don't have to beg. I don't have to fast. Kama baba yangu akona mali, hiyo mali akienda, akilala, hiyo mali ni yangu. So, hata sifai kungangana. Hakuna aje kungangana. Huyu mama unaona hapa siku atafunga macho. Hivi. Hivi. Hiyo nyumba. Eh? Utaona vile James ataichukua haraka. Hallelujah. <laughs> Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hey, hallelujah. Hata kama James atakuwa mejenga kwake. Atachukua kodishe. Ama kodishe ile yake ya kuja kaya mama yake. Kwa sababu vitu za mama ni zako. Hallelujah. Vitu za baba ni zako automatically hakuna haja kusumbwana hakuna haja kushinda hapo ukipiga magoti ukiomba hakuna your inheritance you baba yako lazima kuachie mali yake praise the lord kama alikuwa mtu mzuri kama alikuwa mtu mbaya sasa akikufa hivi mtaanza kuona mtaanza kuona to duplicates to duplicates tumeanza kukuja mlifikiria mnakuaga wanne kumbe mnakuaga 10 na wanne haleluya ulikuwa umejipanga na ka plot moja kumbe sasa hiyo plot moja inachukuliwa na wajama tano haleluya eh, that's why haufai kuacha kufanya kazi na kutara, na kutegemea Mungu na kumwamini Mungu kupatia mali yako mali yako wewe mwenyewe haleluya mimi nafanya kazi kwa bidii ninaomba hapa kwa bidii ili Mungu anipatie mali yangu mwenyewe mimi sitaki ya mama ya mama ni sawa niko sawa si kwa taenda mbinguni nitaita you know tutajua vile tutaifanyia haleluya lakini for now before that i want my own things i want my own my own wealth the one of my mother I can drive even a bigger car than her yes yes I can build a bigger house than hers 
And actually I'm, I'm building. Ni bila sijawapeleka hapo nitawapeleka. Muone. Nina nimeshaanza. Eh Chinese alisema a journey of a thousand miles starts with a step. I've taken the step. I've taken uh, kuna mali tulienda tukaambiwa mwanaume ni kujenga. Eh, for the first time nikajisikia mwanaume. Hallelujah. <laughs> Ningalikuwa sijajenga ningeenda nikijisikia kama mwanamke. Haleluya. <laughs> oh, mwanaume ni nini? Ni kujenga na kuna wanawake wako na roho ya mwanaume. Kuna wanawake ambao wako na mentality ya mwanaume. Yeye ni anajua kujenga. Receive that in the name of Jesus. Receive empowerment to build. Receive empowerment to build. Kabla uolewe unaweza kuwa tayari uko na kwako. Uko na shamba yako, uko na nyumba yako, uko na gari yako, uko na shule yako, uko na supermarket yako. Receive that empowerment. Receive that grace. I say receive that grace. Hakuna kutegemea watu. Hakuna kutegemea mama, hakuna kutegemea boyfriend. Hakuna kutegemeana Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tunamtegemea Yesu pekee. Praise the Lord. Number four, you must hear God properly. It is important for you to hear God properly. You must hear God properly. Job 36 verse 11. The first step to a life of abundance is obedience. You must develop a hearing ear in order to keep walking in abundance it is very important to walk in in obedience however no one can obey god if they cannot hear him so the first step to obedience is hearing god the first step to obedience is hearing god nobody can obey an instruction they have not heard nobody can obey what don't know and what they have not heard if they obey the scripture says if they obey and serve god if they obey and serve him they shall spend their days in prosperity they shall spend their days in prosperity and their ears in pleasure may you enter in that level may you enter in that realm i say may god take you to that realm where you will enjoy prosperity where you will live your life in pleasure not pressure god is not promising pressure god is promising pleasure godliness leads to pleasurable life and godliness leads to pleasurable life did you hear what i said godliness leads to pre, to pleasurable life and ungodliness sinfulness leads to pleasurable life because uh, uh psalms 119 and verse 67 the bible says before I was afflicted before pain came before stress came before depression came before my children could not uh, could not hear me it is because i had gone astray when you go astray then pressure sets in when you go astray pressure sets in I think uh, I'm a good kick. I'm a good kick you person. I'm not a kick that mixes R and L. <laughs> They say R and L. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I I'm, I'm, I hope that you're hearing what I'm saying. Hallelujah. Somebody say I refuse pressure in my life. Sema tena nimekata kusukumwa na maisha. Eh, sema nimekata kusukumwa na maisha. Hey, kumbuka kile unachukia akitakaa na wewe ukikataa eh, uh, brother eh, maybe you can move aside sorry i had not told you that because there is a lot of reflection here yes there glory to god sema mimi nimekataa kusukumwa na mwili kusukumwa deni kusukumwa na rent Ninaenda hiyo levo ingine ya kusukumana. Sema nena. <laughs> Naenda hiyo levo ingine 
ya kusukumana. Eh, kwa nini wewe uishi kusukumwa? Kwani wewe ni kwani wewe ni ni tractor ati wewe tu ndio kusukumwa. Wewe tu ndio kusukumwa. Mbona wewe usisukumane? Kuanzia leo you are changing your level. I say you are changing your level. I say you are changing your level. We will not bind your landlord. We will only release your money. We will release your houses. We will release your wealth. Let wealth begin to come to you. I say let wealth begin to come to you. Your landlord ataishi miaka mingi hatakufa. Kuna wale tarehe 27 ikifika wanaanza kukonda. Eh hey, 27 imefika. Aki unaanza kukonda. Hata <laughs> kama kuna chakula au na appetite. Age 27 Sasa niko karibu kusikia huyu mzee amekuja kunok mlango hmm? That will not happen to you again I said the Lord is changing your level I said the Lord is changing your level Hata kama utaanza na ya mabati mabati kumi peke yake juu tatu kando kando saba eh you know Mungu atakufikisha hapo katika jina la Yesu at least utaanza mahali hata kama utaanza na kama ile ya Sunday school Bwana Yesu <laughs> Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Yes. Hata kama hakuna mlango uweke gunia. Yes. Na, u, na usiku wa muke na maji. Eh kama uwezi nunua anointing oil. U spray hiyo nini hiyo gunia na uikaushe, uikaushe na damu ya Yesu. Useme kuanzia sasa wewe utakuwa kama mlango, mtu akikuguza atapigwa na radi katika jina la Yesu. Haleluya. <laughs> May you move to the next level. Take a step in the name of Jesus. May the Lord help you to take a step. Glory to God. Before I was afflicted, I had gone away from God. So you must hear God properly so that you can be able to to obey him. You can't obey God if you can't hear him. Isaiah 30:21. You can't hear God if you have not you can't obey God if you have not heard him. So the first step to obedience is actually hearing. And this is what God says. You know God will never tell you to do something he has not given you the ability to do. Let me say that again. God will never demand from you what he has not given you. God will never ask you to do something that he knows you are not able to do it. Every time you hear God telling you to do something, it is because he knows that you are well able. Look at your neighbor and tell them you are well able. Yes, yes. You are well able to build a better house than your pastor. You are well able to build. Yes, some of you here, you have a calling to become a pastor. Hey, but right now, unajificha kama nani? Come a Gideon. But you have the calling. You're supposed to be a man of God. A great woman of God. Some of you, you have gifts of singing and worship. Some of you, you have gifts of healing and workings of miracles. But you are still there. You don't know because you've not heard. May the Lord open your ears today. I say may the Lord open your ears today. Oh, nilisikia pastor mwingine akisema mimi hata sijui kama nilisikia mwito ama nilisikia echo. Vile maisha imenipeleka. Ni kama sikusikia sauti ya Mungu, ni kama nilisikia echo. Eh, ana Yesu asifiwe. You can't hear God and suffer. Hey, that's why huyo pastor alikuwa anaongea hivyo. Hey kama nilisikia Mungu kwa nini ninasafa mm, mm. and now listen to this and thine ears shall hear a word behind thee may the lord open your ears today i say may the lord open your ears today if god says if god asks you to obey him it is because he knows he has given you ability to hear ability to hear ability to hear Today in the name of Jesus I decree somebody here will be able to hear an idea an idea to do a mega business it could be a small idea it could be a small business but that small idea can give birth to a mega business am i hearing a believing amen 
Don't despise yourself. Look at your neighbor and tell them usinitharao. Niko na mungu. Mambia jirani usinitharao. Nilisikia mungu. Yes! Si kuchagua hii karia kwa sababu ya kutaka tu. Nilichagua hii karia kwa sababu nilisikia mungu. Ni mungu aliniweka hapa. Bwana sifiwe. Kama mimi ni pasta, nilikuwa na chukia upasta. Lakini mimi ni pasta kwa sababu nilisikia sauti. That is why I cannot fear. That is why I know my success is here. That is why I know this is my future. This is my destiny. This is where great things are going to happen for me. In the name of Jesus. And thine ear shall hear a word behind thee. Saying, this is the way. Walk in it. Where you turn. When you turn to the right. And when you turn to the left. Whenever you follow God, you cannot miss the way. When you follow God, you cannot miss the way. If you hear God, Mama Kevin, you will never miss your way. You can never miss the way. I prophesy that you will have a hearing ear. Today you will have a hearing ear. May the Lord open up your ears. May the Lord open your spiritual ears. Because some of us, we are suffering because we have no ability to hear God. We only hear pastor saying that alihisikia mungu. Sasa, mtu anasikiaga mungu waji. Ni kwa ndoto, ni vision, mimi zo vitu atasijawai kupata. Kila ni kiota na unaga crocodiles wana nikimbiza. Na unaga tu, you know, majitu ya na nikimbiza. Wachawi, wanataka kuniua. Mimi sijawai na mungu. Today, you will hear God. I say today, you will hear God. Before the end of these seven days. Somebody here will hear God. I say somebody here will hear God. I say somebody here will hear God. Sometimes tunakosa kusikia mungu kwa sababu ya uchafu ambao umeja kwa hii dunia. Sometimes kwa sababu ya makelele ambao zimeja kwa hii dunia. Kila ukienda mahali watu anakuambia vile wewe ni mchafu. Vile wewe hauwezi. Vile wewe ni failure. Vile kabila yenyu ni mbaya. Vile watu wenyu ni wabaya. Vile wewe hakuna kitu mzuru naeza kufanya. Hizo makelele ni nazia rest katika jina la yesu. Na sema hizo makelele Na zinya mazisha leo Katika jina la yesu Na kila mali ukienda unambiwa Vile we ni muagli Vile we ni mrefu sana Vile we migu yako ni sijui nye mbamba sana Sijui mikono yako ni mrefu sana Kila mahali ukienda mapua yako Sijui inakaa Sijui macho yako inakaya suspecta Sijui masikio yako inakaya wachawi Sijui ulimi yako inakaya murogi Ha Izo masauti na zinyamazisha Katika jina la yesu Na nyamazisha izo masauti Sasa utasikia mungu waji katikati ya izo makelele zote Ukingia kwa matatu Wamekwekia njimbombaya Hallelujah wana kuangelesha vipaya umewalipa wanasema utawalipa umewapatia 500 wanasema umewapatia 50 unatoka hapo umekasirika mungu walikuwa nataa kukuangelesha sasa ata kuangelesha aji hapo na tangaza kuanzia leo masikio yako ya tasikia mungu katika jina la yesu na nyamazisha kelele zote Wengine wetu wapa ndiyo tupate good ideas, mungu lazima kupatie gari. Kwa sababu yu kuenda marikiti kila siku na matatu. Kila siku tu unasikiaga shuga shugari, shuga shuga. You will never hear God. You will never hear God like that. May the Lord bless you with your own car. I say may the Lord bless you with your own car. Glory to God. Bwana Yesu wa sifiwe sana. Sema ntasikia mungu. Sema tena ntasikia mungu katika jina la yesu. Ah, hallelujah. Ukienda kwa wazazi ndiyo hao, wana kuongelesha tu vitumbaya. Eh, kila saa, kila mahali, SMS zote zinakuja, niza stimiza, sijui tala, sijui gani ngine, sijui mshwari, sijui okoa jahazi, sijui fuliza, everything is negative, negative noises all over your life. Those voices today, they are stopping. I say they are stopping. They will not come anymore. I silence them in the name of Jesus. Oh, I silence them in the name of Jesus. Something to remember very quickly. Number one, you cannot hear without a teacher. 
you need a teacher in order for you to hear. How can you hear without a teacher? How can you hear without a teacher? That is what the Bible says in, book, in the book of Romans. I believe I will get it. Romans chapter 9 verse what? Verse 10. Let me see if I can get it very quickly. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Chapter 10 of Romans. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Verse 8. Verse 8. Verse what? Let me get it. Let me get it. Ukipata mbele yangu shout. Seme tuko wapi. Tuko wapo Romans 10. Apo Romans 10. Apo Romans 10. Yes. How then shall they call unto him? Verse 14. How then shall they call unto him in whom they have not believed? Sasa watamuitia aji. Watamuita aji kama wajamuamini. And how shall they believe in him? Of him they have not even heard. Watamuamini aji kama wajamusikia. And how shall they hear without a preacher? Watamsikiaji bila mwalimu Watamsikiaji bila muhubiri You need a preacher You need a preacher Remember this is formula for abundance If you don't have a preacher You will never have abundance You will never enjoy abundance The Bible says in, in Second Chronicles 2020 Thou shalt believe the Lord thy God. Second Chronicles, not Corinthians. Second Chronicles. Second Chronicles. CH. Second Chronicles. Second Chronicles 20, verse 20. And you shall hear the Lord thy God. You shall believe the Lord your God. So shall you be established. Ukiskia mungu, unanza kukua established. Unanza kupata mizizi. Una, the more unasikia mungu Na the more unamuamini mungu The more unapata mizizi The more unakauka The more unakuwa strong The more unakuwa Hata kama ni kwa biashara The more utasikia mungu na umuamini mungu The more unaendelea kuthi, kuthibitishwa na mungu Unakorogewa Hata kama ni kakibanda unafanya Unakorogewa hapo Mungu anaestabu Establish iyo biashara yako. Ukipata wateja kumi. Mungu anawa established. Wanakatana wewe. Wanakatalia kwako. Ninaomba mungu watume watu ambao watakatalia kwako. Nasema mungu watume opportunities. Zenye zitakatalia kwako. May the Lord begin to establish you. May the Lord begin to establish you. May the Lord begin to establish you. Anasema ukimwa mini mungu ataku establish. Alafu baada ya kukuestablish Anatuma mtumishi wake Anatuma mtumishi wake Anasema And you shall believe his prophets So shall you prosper Ukikua Ukithibitishwa na mungu Ukisumamishwa na mungu Unaitaji mtu mwenye atakusongesha mbele Unaitaji mtu mwenye talete prosperity Mtu mwenye mebeba grace A pastor carries a grace That can lift you That can take you forward that can move your business forward hallelujah and don't look at your pastor and say sasa huyu na hana kitu atawezaji kunipeleka mbele biblia inasema ya kwamba though we are poor we make many richer though poor yet we make many richer pastor wako anaweza kuwa maskini lakini akona neema ya utajiri ndani yake nasema anaweza kuwa maskini wa mwisho anaweza kuwa ta nyumba ni nyinyi mnamuli piaga lakini amebeba kitu ndani yake kitu ambacho hakionekani na macho ya binadamu amebeba kitu inaitwa grace na hiyo grace iko na uwezo wa kukupeleka mbele kimaisha akisema kitu biblia inasema ya kwamba iwatana shall be like a ready pen it shall be like a pen in the hands of a ready writer mdomo wangu na maneno yangu ni kama kalamu nikiazungumza kwa maisha yako ini imeandikwa kwa maisha yako nikisema kitu inaandikwa kwa maisha yako because my tongue is like a pen in the hands of a ready writer God is the writer. I am the penner. When I speak, uh, 
what I have said, it is written in your life permanently by God. What I write in your life, it is written in your life permanently by God. I say you are not a failure. I say you are, I say you are not cast. I say you are not poor. I say you are richer. I say you are greater. You will prosper. You will succeed. If you have a revelation, shout amen. Shout a big amen. Biblia inasema ya kwamba Mungu akitu establish anatutumia mwalimu anatutumia pasta huyu mwalimu anakujaga kutufundisha maneno ya Mungu neno la Mungu likiandikwa ndani yako Biblia inasema ya kwamba ukianza kuona hayo maneno ukianza kuona neno la Mungu Mungu anaulizaga je unaona nini James what are you seeing Mchui what are you seeing Mama Kevin what are you seeing Mungu anauliza what are you seeing Jeremiah what are you seeing anasema because I will follow my word the word you have seen I will follow it katika hii bada macho yako ifunguke katika hii bada mungu afungue macho yako aone aone wanze kuona wanze kuona katika jina la yesu there is a way in this service you can see yourself a millionaire. Ah, there is a way you can see yourself a great singer. There is a way you can see yourself as a professor. Even if you are not educated today, you just need to see it. Because a vision is for an appointed time. A vision is for an appointed time. It may tarry, but it will come to pass. Nyumba yangu inaweza kukaa sana. Ile gate inaweza kulala hapo sana. Lakini siku moja itasimama. Oh, nasema siku moja itasimama mama siku moja nitakupeleka kwangu katika jina la Yesu najua wewe siku moja utanibeba na gari yako siku moja utaandika cheki ya millions ya kujenga kanisa wewe ambao uko na umaskini saizi wewe ambao haujalipa nyumba leo ninaona ukitajirishwa na Mungu naona ukitajirishwa na Mungu naona Mungu akikubariki wewe ambao watoto wako umewaacha na njaa leo ninatangaza huyu Mungu wewe tu anainua kiwango cha maisha yako somebody say hallelujah somebody shout that is my portion that vision will come to pass it will come to pass glory to jesus you cannot hear without a teacher so you need a teacher jeremiah 3:15 says i will give you pastors according to my heart which shall feed you with the knowledge and understanding your pastor is not your prayer partner your pastor is not your friend your pastor is not your brother your pastor occupies the office of a teacher to teach you the ways of god to teach you how to excel to teach you how to become a great person believe your pastor and you will prosper believe your pastor pastors are agents of prosperity write that down your prophet is a is an agent of prosperity. Can I submit this to you? Your prophet is not in heaven. All right. Let me say that again. Your prophet is not in heaven. Your prophet is with your prophet. Your prophet is with your prophet. So don't pray for God to give you prosperity. All you need to do is to listen to your pastor. Listen to your prophet. To your prophet. And your prophet will guide you on how to become prosperous. On how to profit. May you begin to profit from today. And that is exactly what I'm doing. Formula for abundance. You need a preacher. You need a teacher. You need somebody to guide you. You need somebody to teach you the ways of God. Hallelujah. Science is good, but science without God is useless. Maths, that is good. Accounting is very good, but without God is useless. The Bible says, except the Lord build a house, they will labor in vain. Except the Lord helps you, you will labor with your accounting. You will labor with your science. You will labor with your career. If God is not involved, it will be all 
all in vain. From today in the name of Jesus, I say, I decree today here, nobody here will labor for nothing. You will not labor for zero result. You will not labor for zero result. May the Lord begin to reward your, reward, your labor. May the Lord begin to reward your labor. Hallelujah. Except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain. That's why you need, that's why you can, you can be educated by a, a doctor, a professor. You can be edu so much educated. You're even a professor yourself. You have two degrees. You have masters. You have, even you are now a doctor. You have PhD. But you are still struggling until God is involved. And the only person who, who has the mandate and the grace and the anointing to guide you in that direction, in that journey, is your pastor. Honor your pastor and you shall profit. Honor your pastor and profit will follow you. God says if you believe him, he will establish you. But the part of prosperity I have given to your pastor. The part, give them that scripture again. The part of prosperity. That one is domiciled with your pastor. That one is given to your pastor. That one is not my responsibility. It is not my jurisdiction. That is the jurisdiction of your pastor. If your pastor says you are blessed, you are blessed. If your pastor says doors are opened, they will be opened. Hallelujah. Whatever your pastor says to you, God will make sure that it happens. Glory to Jesus. He says in Isaiah 44, Isaiah uh, is that what? Is that 44 verse 26? That he come, he performeth the, the counsel. He performeth the words. He confirmeth the words of his servant and performeth the counsel of his messengers. Mungu huwa ana confirm maneno ya mtumishi wake na huwa anatenda counsel. Unajua counsel ni nini? Counsel ni mashauri. Sema mashauri. Kwa hivyo Mungu, kwa hivyo Mungu ameruhusu watumishi wake kumshauri. Kumshauri kumshauri kuhusu Mama Kevin. Kumshauri kuhusu Frida. Hallelujah. Can you imagine that? Hey, that is a huge responsibility. Please look at your pastor with an with an eye of respect, with an eye of honor. Hallelujah. Because he's an agent of change in your life. He's an agent of prosperity in your life. He's an agent of profits in your life. If you despise him, if you doubt him, he may not be able to release what he has. God has given him the grace you need. But if you doubt him, he may not be able to. He may not be able to. He may want to. Kama mimi nataka watu wote watajirike hapa. Nataka mubarikiwe nyinyi wote. Wazuri na wazuri. Wazuri na wazuri. Kwa sababu hapa kuna wabaya. Katika jina la yesu. Nataka nyote mbarikiwe. Lakini wacha ni kuambie. Wewe ukona jukumu la kuamini. Kazi yangu ni kukubariki. Kazi yako ni, kukua, ni kuniamini. Ziki kutana. Faith na baraka zikutane. Unabarikiwa. Mujiza unafanyika.